All right, there you go. All right, man. Man, uh, tell them your name, first name, last name, and where you where you from and where you played football at. I'm Ladaris Van. I'm from Fort Pierce, Florida, and I played at the University of Cincinnati. And this is also known, AKA Mr. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, act, yeah, you actually gave me the uh, name. Uh, Playmaker Six. You gave me that name, and I end up putting that on that name on the back of my license plate. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. On the yeah. at right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, so so man, and and I'm excited to do this because man, I was always intrigued by your story because yours is a little bit different. You was a two sport athlete at the University of Cincinnati. Yes, sir. Yep. You played football and baseball. Man, I'm gonna steal all your thunder right now. But yeah. but tell 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 them about your 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 baseball career, man. Uh, as far as uh, you choosing football over baseball coming out of high school, tell tell the people about that story, man. I think that's pretty dope that not many people know about you. Yes, um, out of college, uh, out of high school, my best sport was baseball. A lot of people don't know that. Um, I had a scholarship. I lost. Um, we'll get into this, but I'm going to just go briefly. I lost all my scholarships for football, uh, my senior year of football, because some things went on. I was, I've was i been recruited by every school in Florida, Florida State, uh, UM, Florida. I actually uh, committed to UM um, to play DB, actually. Uh, but, yes, uh, but uh, when I lost all them scholarships, uh, actually the person that – handpicked and recruited me was Jimbo Fisher mm. uh, to come to Cincinnati. So when I got there, they were trying to pull me to DB, but he was like, nah, he's playing offense. So <laughs> I got in there with uh, Jimbo, and, 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 and the story is history. But baseball was always, man, and, and before I signed that scholarship with the um, University of Cincinnati, I had an offer from Rice University uh, for, to play baseball. So I'm like, I'm contemplating and everything like that. And I also had, you know, I had a couple of professional workouts, Atlanta Braves and all that. Uh, but my dad said, I'm going you going to college. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, um, so I uh, contemplated my dad. Uh, I, I took the visit to Cincinnati and, you know, it, w- it was, I ain't going to say I had a lot of fun, <laughs> but I seen a lot of pretty women that when I went back, I didn't see. <laughs> oh, oh. I think they migrated them in there just for that weekend. So, you know what I mean? Like, I end up, my dad said, uh, you're not going to sign that yet. So we had that con- um, the um, Cincinnati contract um, um, scholarship for like two weeks before we signed it. Mm. He said mm. he wanted to look around, make sure every, uh, make sure the Florida team won. Uh, back off, you know, I had a couple more offers, University of Houston, you know, uh, UC, uh, UCL, uh, just small little uh, institution at that time. But I end up, you know, I wanted to go to UC. I, and, and, and when I signed that scholarship, man, make a lot, man, my grandma hated the idea of me leaving so far. She said, she told me not to go. Ma. I said, Mom, I, I told him these exact words. I remember it like it was yesterday. I said, I got to go make something myself. Mm. Exact words, mm. you know. What I mean, and the story, you know, the story is history. It's history, man. And yeah. so, wait, wait up. So, when you say you you uh, you have professional offers, but your dad said no, nah, you turning them down because you going to college. You going to yes. do a college degree. Yes. Mm. Yes, I'm going to mm. be drafted in the later rounds by the Atlanta Braves. That um, that uh, um, I had uh, I actually had a a, a scout for the Atlanta um, Braves come to throw batting practice with me like once a month. Mm. So he was coming down and giving you a personal workout. Just yeah, yeah, practice. just throwing batting practice and everything. Y'all know when I first came, I had the uh, player of the year baseball uh, pitch on my in the in the locker room in my locker. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. So you yeah. know what I mean. I, 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 if I had it all over to do again, honestly, I should have played baseball. Everybody kicked me in the butt that I didn't play baseball. You know, so. But you did. You, I mean, what, how was how was your uh how how did you feel your career in baseball at UC? Because I mean, it was pretty good, but you play. but you know what happened with that situation, <laughs> right? 
It was a lot of jealousy because I used to go to baseball practice. I used to go to football practice in the spring and go play a game. Or I missed spring practice to go go play baseball. So it was a lot of jealousy around, and the, um, the baseball players didn't like that. You know what I mean? Mm. I, and I hate to bring it up to people, but I was the only black on that team. Mm. And I used to get in trouble, you know, um, Bob Gorn, the late Bob Gorn, excuse me, he, he didn't put me in his office several times, man. Great man. Told me, um, if you don't get your act graded, you ain't playing baseball. You're just going to be on that football field. Mm. You know what I mean? He suspended me uh, one time for uh, a week from baseball, uh, an incident that happened. Um, and then again, the same incident with the same guy, he called me out my name, you know, that name that you don't want to be called. And yeah. I like blacked out. And I end up... <laughs> I end up getting kicked off the uh, baseball team for that year. And I told him I'm not playing no more. Uh, I just don't want to risk my scholarship over that. Why? Wow. Because the guy that I was, uh, the guy that I used to always try to uh, egg me on, I was in his position. Mm. What position you play? I played outfield. I played uh, center and right field. They put me in right field to try to protect, uh, I'm going to say it, to protect the center field. The center field used to always strike out, man. I had the best. Hey, strike man, out the hit ratio. I was in I'm the not, top, huh? I ain't gonna let you off of this because, 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 because the name that I want to hear, this individual became a big time baseball player. Who? The, the the isn't it the the guy that became no. a Boston Red Sox? He Sox? played no. He played third base. He uh, me and Kevin Euclid was good. Me and him was close. I mean, we, okay. I'm I'm cool with Kevin Euclid. Kevin Euclid played third base. Got it was a okay. center fielder. It was a center fielder that all his brothers and everything played them. Man, that day you strike out every other plate appearance. <laughs> you know, me, I uh, mean, I batted first. Kevin Euclid batted third. We uh in that year we led the uh we were lead. We was in the top five. Me and him was in the top five at least strikeouts per mm -hmm. bat. Like I struck out maybe every thirty plate appearance once. Nice. You know, what I mean, I probably had. Five, six strikeouts that whole year. But, you know, I always used to, uh, everybody used to say, man, you're the only person I ever knew that can hit the ball the second and beat it out. Like, <laughs> if I hit the ball in there, field, I'm gone. I, I, it, it's, Wait it's, up. Uh, you know what I mean? So, so, yeah, we come back on that, man, because that's a lot to unpack. Because I never, when, when you say I hit the ball in the infield and I'm going to run that out. But when, when, and this is just my own assessment. I didn't never see you as the four three guy, the four two guy. But you was just so elusive, and mm -hmm. you knew how to play football so damn well. Like your awareness was on ten. I, I didn't think you was fast like like Chapman, and I didn't think you was. Uh, I didn't think you was, you know, a strider either. I was like, man, I don't know how he do it because he's not, you know, where you if you watching him run, you like yo. This dude is moving, but if you sticking you and you trying to tackle you, it's two different things. Right. So, so when you say you can hit the ball in the infield and run it out, I'm like, wait up, man. This, uh, uh, was it just your natural instinct for playing baseball? How long were you playing baseball? Uh, for you see? No, or just in for, general. For like, I, I started playing baseball before I started <laughs> playing football. Is that right? Yes, I started playing baseball um, at the age of nine. I probably played football the year after that once they once everybody seen me play baseball. Man, when I was nine years old, man, I'm not trying to toot my horn or nothing, but they tried to put me on the 12-year-old All-Star team when I was nine. <laughs> like, I went through a whole season of baseball, two seasons. Two seasons. I only struck out one time. Wow. And, wow. And, and, and that's in Florida. You know what I mean? I, I won. Um, Baseball play. Uh, I was a uh, first team all state in um in um Florida. I mean, you know, first team all county, uh, first team all uh, city in um in Florida, man. Florida being in Florida, being first yeah. team in, in Boca Raton, Florida, like Palm Beach County. You know how I many athletes and everything, Wellington, all the high schools around, man. It was, you know, I, I was. I thought everybody knew baseball was my best sport. Nice, nice, and, and man, when I seen you play, I I just used to like going to watch you play. Like, oh, LB play, let's go see LB play, man, because I right. enjoyed seeing you. Right. Uh, be, and, and you was putting up numbers, so I was like, man, yes. he having great success over there, yes. man. I like, I was really enjoying that, man. And so, were you the 
So you said your dad was guiding you as far as telling you, nah, you're not signing this, you're signing that. Yeah. Were you a first generation athlete in your family? I get into that. Let me uh, explain who's my dad. My dad is really is my godparents. You know what I mean? I, I really didn't have a dad growing up. He took on that responsibility. And that's who started me. He took, I met him my, first, uh, my second year of football. He took me up under his uh, wings then. He, he said, I, I seen that you have potential. And he seen my attitude. You know what I mean? So he took me in. That's who I call his name is Terrence Hart. And that's who I call my father. Uh, okay. If, I, if I'm referring to anything, he's a principal in, in Green Acres, Florida now. So, you know, I mean, he I, I used to when I, when I was in high school, I was the first one at school, the last one to leave. <laughs> and I mean, so, you know, I mean, he, he really instilled in me the, uh, you know, the, the values of being successful and and, and 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 some of the things I didn't listen to. But now today, I think, you know, how we were knuckleheads, man, yeah. if anybody, you know, if, if you people didn't went through what we about to go through, but we don't want to listen to them to not deal with that situation. Mm. You know what I mean? So we want to we want to see it out, see it for ourselves. Mm. Like I'm pretty sure somebody told you not to buy that or do that, and you wouldn't have brought that. You'd be like, dang, they got to go back now because I can't afford it. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? You know the uh, like uh, life lessons. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. yeah, it was that a good comes. experience. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, now, no. am I a first generation? I'm not going to say I'm a first generation. Uh, Lehman Moody um, Jr. is my uncle, late Lehman Moody Jr. But he inspired me to want to play football, man. This dude was like 4-2 speed. Anybody can tell you. He was like blazing speed. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, in Florida, you got the Westwood Central game. I went to his game. I was young. He caught like a two-yard slant. I'm talking about, dude, he got, I'm talking about, it was like an 80-yard touchdown. <laughs> but when he got there, it was like people was like 20 yards behind this kid, man. Like, you know, they chase him. They chase him. I'm talking about every step he pulled away. Man, mm. I, he had the potential to be great. Mm. Mm. But, you know, so he did do a little stint. And he didn't play football in college, but he did go to college for like a semester or something like that. And, then, you know, the case is over. Okay. So when you say the 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 guy that you refer to you that you refer to as your dad, when did he get his hands on you? When did he start giving you the guidance and the know how of how you about to tread this this terrain as far as at, uh, sports athleticism? Uh, uh, um, directly when I was ten, uh, my house had burned down. Our house had burned down, and he eventually, you know, you know, you move into you know the hotels, the you know the Red Cross, all of them to help you out. The hotel and whatever. So I moved. I ain't go to the hotel. I moved in with him mm. and his parents. Uh -huh. and, and he'll tell you not everybody told told him leave that kid alone. He you can't help him and everything. But wow. he he went against their advice and wow. I love him for it. And he took me here. I, I, you met you met uh, Hart before. He came to yeah. You met him before. Well, man, if I have it, man. Yeah, yeah. You're an awesome man. If you see this, man, yeah. it takes a great man to raise another man's child, man. Yeah, yeah. You did. That's yeah. dope. That's dope. And, and I'm quite sure not too many people. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something, but I'm quite sure not too many people know where you came from that you actually played with, or all the things that you've been through to get to where you, where you where you were at. Yes. You know what I mean? So I, I mean, man, that's dope. I never, I didn't know that either. I didn't know right. the fact that your house burned down and then all that. All the other stuff that you're the only thing I knew was that hey, you play baseball and you turn down professional baseball contracts to play football. And when you played football, you was amazing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> now, so so now did he did he have any uh college background, professional athlete, anything like that? Mm, no, nah, he is a school teacher. Turned just principal now, teacher. you know what I mean? Just a school teacher, you know what I mean? He's from the area. Yeah. And everybody, you know, I mean, when he became our he he became our youth football coach that year, um, for the little dolphins in uh, Fort Pierce, Florida for Park Warner. And everybody told him about me, you got this kid, blah, 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 this and that. But man, I used to go, hey, you know that kid they be trying to keep from scoring touchdowns in that uh, little league. You heard about that on Facebook? Yeah, yeah. I was that kid. Uh -huh. 
They uh-huh. used to try to stop me from playing on anything. Oh, he ain't got the grades. Oh, he overweight. You know what I mean? So, anything, huh? Anything to not let me play, but it, it ain't. He already scored work. two touchdowns. He can't score no more. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I mean, I used to be the kid that run back and forth, back and forth, and try to get a hole. You uh-huh. know what I mean? So. And, and, and the thing was, this is the same thing you used to do when you was in college. I used yeah, to like man. Man. But then, but, but let me ask you this. Did you see yourself as being fast? Or, like, I mean, because, I mean, you played with uh, Antonio Chapman, yes. uh, John Olinger. What, what, now, I know you seen Chapman run and was like, yo, he's fast. What, how did you, what kind of ball player did you see yourself as? I think, um, you know, I mean, the, the touch on Antonio Chapman, which is a good guy, man, like, he the one taught me how to get off the jam. <laughs> like, <laughs> I used to be getting murdered back then. I remember we had that UBA game, man, them boys pressed us like, Man, I find myself five yards in our backfield. I can play <laughs> like golly. But man, he man, Antonio used to take me up on this wing, man. We used to play uh bones all the time, just me and Antonio. Him and his jolly ranchers. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but man, I thank Tonyo, man. I, I saw myself, man. I always thought I was fast. You know what I mean? I was just the fast, but I always thought I was fast. Like yeah. I remember going against Zach. Zach would never admit to this. And 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 we were we doing our one on one drills. I burned him one time. He said, "Man, he's too fast." That's what I swear to God. He said that uh, his, his uh, freshman year, <laughs> and he would never. He always up my. He never said that. I, man, why would I just bring that up to you? I've been bringing that up to you for ten plus years. <laughs> he was like, "Man, that dude is fast." Huh? Yeah, you know what I mean. I, you ain't never see uh, people can say I was. I wasn't. I thought I was fast. You know what I mean. I, I didn't clock the on on when I went to try out uh, for my Buffalo workout. Mm-hmm. I ran a forty, and he looked at the watch and said, "You got to run that again." <laughs> I ran it again. I ran it again, and we didn't even work out. We mm-hmm. just uh, I it just was signed over. a contract. It was over for me. I just signed a contract, and um, when I ran when I played for the uh, Indiana Firebirds. I ran a four three four. Wow. You you know what it probably is? Cause you was just so big though. You yeah. know what I mean? That's probably yeah. why you didn't look like you was moving. Right. That's probably what it was. Cause I was like, man, he's not blazing fast, but this but, dude is elusive. <laughs> but I we never I was quick uh we never I you never got to see that in me because I always played inside. You yeah. know what I mean? You okay. never got me to run the deep routes or nothing like that. You know, y'all you only seen me run the, the 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 difficult the digs and all that the Across traffic the middle, routes yeah and then you had John Olinger on the top which you know what I mean John Olinger need to thank me a whole lot because they always used to come down and double team me and they just throw it over the head so, so man when you was coming out of high school uh who, who uh so you had a teacher in your life so he knew exactly what it was going to take for you to qualified to get into D1. So did you, uh, was it easy for you to qualify as far as like SAT, ACT? How was that pro- pop- I, process? I qualified my freshman year. Wow. He made me take it my freshman year. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, and I took it, and he wanted me to take it again my junior year. I took it again. I took the, uh, he wanted me to take the ACT uh, and the SAT. And Really, to this day, I don't even know what I scored, though. I can't tell you what I scored. I never knew. He knew. I don't know. He said, you good. <laughs> That's all he said, huh? Yeah, I never I never found out what I had. <laughs> he said, say no more. You don't even need to know. Just know yeah, you good. Yeah, yeah. He huh? said, you good, man. Like, you know what I mean? I ain't have no problem with that. But, you know what I mean? I did, you know, the way our school was set up at the University of uh, Fort Pierce Central, I was a knucklehead, so... You had to take the flag off performance base. Uh, you work at your own pace. Yeah. I had to take that because I was a knucklehead, man. A lot of people don't know, man. I did not play football my sophomore year of high school. Mm. The only film that they had of me is my junior year. Wow. Ever. And then the first four games of my senior year because when I transferred, uh, my athletic uh, director seen how I was playing. So he called my school talking about I, I transferred illegally. You know, if you, you transfer outside the city, as long as you're not within the city, you're good. I transfer a whole nother, another uh, county, yeah. two, three, four counties over. Uh, okay. Like, 
an hour plus away. Like, I'm mm. in Palm Beach County. This was in Fort Pierce. I mean, St. Lucie County. It was like, and after the fourth game, man, I had what I had probably, I had 800 yard rushing and probably like eight, 900 yard passing. Like, mm. dude, I was, I was, you know what I mean? I was, uh, Murder, man. My first game, I rushed 13 times for 252 yards. Nice. nice. Like, you know what I mean? I was I was off. You know what I mean? That's why I got that uh, that new office from, you know, all the schools. I, I went to, on official visit, I went to every Florida team, every Florida school uh, on an unofficial visit. Where uh -huh. I, saw, I, thought, and, um, I remember uh, me and Bush Davis sitting at a round table, man, at my University of Miami. He asked me, I want to extend it off. I, uh, I said, I said, I'm coming. It was supposed to be me and Jason Gathers. I don't know if anybody knows Jason Gathers. Jason Gathers was our running back. I call him a gazelle. That joker was 6'3", 220 pounds in high school. Mm -hmm. Running back. Dude, mm -hmm. I used to, when I pitched the ball to him, I used to love watching him run. <laughs> Dude, just sit this. Man, I'm talking about, he just took it up ground. But Ugh. we had a real, me and him had a real, you know, we was we were cool, but his family wasn't cool with it, man. I remember a game I had 150 yard first half. I'm coming off halftime, and they telling me they his parents cussing me out, pitch the effing ball, like, 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 they cussing me out, man. Like, <laughs> I'm like man, it, the Reeves show don't pitch it, you know what I mean? It's an option, you know what I mean? I, I, hey, we winning. It was a rival game. You know what I mean? Atlantic versus uh, Spanish <laughs> River is a rival game. Pat House. You know what I mean? I mean, so, you know what I mean? It, it is what it is. So, uh, he was supposed to be the fastest in the school. We race. You know, I made him pull up. You know what I mean? So. Oh, oh, he put the hammy on. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he practiced it that afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Like. No more guys, man. Man, it, it was, you know, what I mean, I, it, I had all the odds against me. Everybody told me that I wasn't gonna do this. Mm -hmm. Everything that I did in part one, they said I wasn't gonna do it in, uh, in big boys. The big boys, you know, you know, you had the pee wee and then you had the yeah, upper division. The you ain't gonna do it here. Did it there. I used to have hit outs. They used to pay players to try to hurt me, man. Uh, I, I did it. They said I wasn't gonna do it in um, high, um. High school, did in high school. Oh, you ain't gonna do it in college, did it in college. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I just wish, I just wish I had my head on mm. the right way and yeah. did that extra work. Like we, like we get our kids to do these days. It would have been, a, you know, it went to my head when, um, you know, Chris Berman told me, or not. I mean, what's the um, scout name? The uh, NFL uh, scout. Uh, Which one? Uh, you know what? You just name what? What's the one that come to your head? Chris Berman. Not, not Chris Berman. Berman. He's the uh, ES analyst. The uh, analyst. I'm talking about the um, the NFL scout. The, uh, the NFL. Um, oh, the one oh, that predict oh. what round you're gonna go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, I didn't predict uh, Mario to go the first round. First, uh, first. Uh, you know, Mario Mo was supposed to be a first round pick. Yeah. They predict him. They predict to me uh, first. You know, um, second day, uh, third, no later than third round after my freshman year. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. But that went to my head. You know, I, I used to be a, I, I used to be a rebel. You know what I mean? I used to yeah. not listen to nothing. It's on my terms and no terms. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you know, so hey, you know how I was. So. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So let me. Uh, you said you took unofficial visits to all the schools. Right. Uh, in Florida. So how was that for you? Uh, how how was the unofficial visits and what official visits did, did you take? So was the uh, unofficial visit you just going to the football game? What was that like? You go in the football game, you go sit and talk to a you know coach and everything like that. You know what I mean? You go in the locker room. Man, when it man, Florida Florida State and um my Miami was some of the best, you know what I mean? It was a real unofficial visit, you know what I mean? You had fun, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, you, you you hanging with all the other unofficial, you know what I mean? Like it was cool, man. Especially seeing their locker room where you know they got the glass, the uh, they got all the all the um, they show they play a lot. They got all the retired jerseys. They in the game day, they are in their locker. Their their locker is still there with a 
like a black like glass over with their uniform and stuff. Ah, uh, still be hanging up at Florida, uh, Florida State. Yes, they show you man, that. They show you that highlight of Dion. Oh my gosh, <laughs> man, dude, Dion was a blur, man. Uh, man, uh, man, it was a highlight of Dion when they show you the highlight film. It was a highlight of Dion, man. Get you excited, mm-hmm. man. But you know, what I mean, I, I don't know. I'm a Florida State fan. I don't know how I verbally committed to UM. <laughs> Being a Florida State fan, huh? Yes, yes, I don't know how. <laughs> Sweet. What, so what, what school did you take official visits to? I went to uh, University of Houston when Coach Tyrone Dixon was at. Um, I went to uh, Cincinnati. Uh, it was toward the end, man, because I lost a lot of um, I lost okay. a lot of um, scholarship, man. They made it worse than what it was. I don't even want to talk about it, but it wasn't nothing like that. But I lost all my scholarships. Mm, mm. Yeah, I, all my offers. I like, man, if I showed you all the letters that I had, man, it wasn't, it wasn't not one school writing me. Mm. Like, right. But hey, everything I say, everything happened for a reason. So I, what I, makes I, you choose UC? How was your visit to UC? I think Jimbo made me, uh, I think talking to Jimbo. Okay. Okay. I, I think really talking to Jimbo and and then there and, and and Coach Daniels. Remember a little short look, Joe yeah. Daniels, man. Yeah. I think they really, you know, really uh, sold me on the. I was ready to sign the time I got home when they faxed that thing, but my dad like wait, he was like pausing, like like he was playing, like he was playing Russian roulette, man. I'm like, man. It's toward the end of the, you know what I mean? Let me sign this. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, you know what I mean? He said, you want to go play baseball? I'm like, nah, you know what I mean? That's only 75% scholarship. It's 100%. You know what I mean? Baseball ain't really pay full scholarships. Yeah. They used to be splitting them scholarships up. Mm. Mm. So, so, so you, you, uh, so it wasn't, you, did you take the trip by yourself or did your dad come with you? No, I took the trip, but I took both trips by myself. Nigga, well, that's the only reason you came to UC. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that man. was the trip. Hey, so, so, so. I couldn't even talk. tell you who was my, uh, who was my, I remember being with McCleskey. I think my, um, my, who was my uh, host? I don't even remember. I just remember being with McCleskey. Okay, okay. So, so, but to talk to Fisher, you probably had a relationship with Jimbo already, because uh-huh. I know he was coming out of Florida, right? No, I don't know. He was coming. He was at a small school. Jimbo he was, was at, at a small school. You know, oh, what I mean? okay. he, got, he got his big gigs from you know being at. We had the number six offense that year. Yeah, my freshman year. Even though we was three and nine, I think <laughs> he had the number six. <laughs> Y'all weren't doing nothing over there on defense. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> We stay tight in all the teams go 50. <laughs> that was only one game. You all ain't bringing up old shit. Oh, man. Like, yeah. That was, that was the other electrifier. Antoine yeah. Randall. We didn't have no idea what he was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But, you know, it, it, he had, you know, I mean, I was trying to get over that LSU with him, but I decided to go away from that. Okay. Okay. So let me ask you, how was the, when you, when you sign with UC and then you make the official trip to where you got your bags and you here to stay, how was how was it upon your arrival on campus, official arrival on campus? Man, boy, I was happy. I was out at my daddy's house, man. I used to have a curfew at 10 o'clock p.m. as a senior. As like, a senior. Man, I was happy, boy. You, boy, it was like a relief. Like, I ain't, I, I ain't care where I was. I long I'm somewhere. Dude, I was able to live. No, you needed that curfew. Oh man. man, I ain't care. As long as I was out the house, I ain't care at that time, man. I just wanted, you know what I mean? I ain't know nothing about UC, but I wanted to know something. I knew something about myself, man. I just knew just I just needed the opportunity to prove myself to everybody that I was who I was, man. Like I ain't know what position I was playing. I wanted to play offense. And, you know, they was up in the air with me playing offense and defense. Mm. You know what I mean? I ended up playing offense, which was great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Man, I didn't know I didn't know you was recruited as a DB. I, I mean, I don't, yeah. 
Because I, mean, I was around, I was an option quarterback. Yeah, you know, they don't know what you want to do. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah, because since you walked on campus, I was like, yeah, he is definitely a receiver. Because I mean, when I saw saw the magic that you did with when you had the rock in your hand, yeah, it was yeah, no way. That 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 that, that five ten hundred and sixty. 67 pound uh, receiver coming in soaking wet. <laughs> Bro, I was light. I remember putting on the, uh, remember when they gave us our uniform and they gave us the little tight little shirts? Yeah. I bought this right here, wasn't even tight, it was loose. <laughs> you had to roll it up with your jersey. <laughs> that joke, oh man, boy. Dude, I was small, small. <laughs> so, so, so earlier you were saying something about, uh, well, let me ask you this. Just ask you the next question. The next question, which is dope. And uh, is there anything that you saw that you could have did different that would improve your the the options as far as with uh, going to the next level or anything like that? I just wish we had a better, you know, workout ethic. Like if if they weren't holding the workout, we wasn't working out. Mm. You know, and you know that, you know what I mean? Mm. I could have defined my find my skills, man. I would just I, I the talent that you seen was just the talent that I had. Yeah. You know what I mean? It wasn't enhancing right. that talent. You know yeah. what I mean? We never enhanced the talent. You know what I mean? I enhanced the talent and the flexibility and the and the quickness afterward. You know, we also I have a speed and agility. I wish we had a speed and agility type of workout. You know, all we was about getting big. How you think I got in 30 pounds in one year? Freshman to sophomore, 167 to 196. Uh, sophomore year. Uh, oh, we going pump pumping the eye. You know, Scott, man, I thank Scott to death, man. But where was the speed and agility uh aspect of our workouts? Right. right. I just wish I, I would have put more into it than I mm. did. Because in the off season, you know, we were partying. We don't worry about no, 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 no. What we gonna get better? We'll see that next year. Mm. Wow, man. So yeah, it was. If they wasn't holding the workout, we didn't have. We workout. wasn't. We weren't working out. So did did you understand? Would you? And this is just in hindsight. Would you say that you understood the position that you was in at that particular time, or was you just? Hey, living for the hey, I'm in the moment right now and I'm having a good time. I, I ain't worried about nothing else. At the time I was just living day to day, man. I just thought, you know what I mean, I'm gonna get where I'm gonna get no matter what. You know what I mean? That's what I said, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hindsight twenty twenty, you know what I mean? I had a, a lot of nerves say, you know, things that happened in college, that that was on my baggage. Uh, um also, you know, that that Coach Dino, you know, um what's the name? He's he told the recruiter, he told the uh, NFL players that I used to leave practice without being unannounced. Like I just was leaving practice. For real? And you know I and that when that's when I was playing baseball. You know, when I, you know, yeah. I'll be having practice and I leave to go baseball right. game. Yeah. yeah. He said I was leaving practice unannounced. So he ain't know that. You know, he had like he didn't know I played baseball. But I found that out um when I played for uh, Winnipeg that he was the coach that said that. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Wow he's so he really said that you leaving well, practice under yeah, yeah, doing practice. Doing practice. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. That is crazy. That so. is crazy. So, 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 what would what would be a piece of advice you give to a young dude? I, I mean, I'm seeing these young dudes, you know, with the internet, they they become they hype themselves up. You know what I mean? And you know, they they there's some good ones out there. What would be a piece of advice that you give to a young dude that's coming to the collegiate level to make sure that he could uh, take full advantage of the opportunity that's presented before him? Man, my my advice, man, I, I just, you know, you want to point to the parents first, man. You need to, I would tell the parents to invest in their kids 100%. Because mm -hmm. if you, you want to invest in your kid like you invest in yourself, at the end of the day, your kid can't get this type of training if you're not invested in that kid. One thing that I love about Georgia, man, um, being in Georgia, being, uh, you know, I trained for six years, man. Dumb parents care about their kid getting to the next level. They investing that time. They getting off work early to get their kids working out. They trying to get that extra money to, uh, you know, to, to, to spend on them kids 
extracurricular activities to um, better their career. You know, I mean, I just tell the kids, man, take that, uh, do what you need to do, get that extra work, man. Pull a friend aside, y'all set up a schedule, go out in the field and do your whatever you need to do, because somebody working out somewhere mm. that's going that you want to meet in college, trying to work out for that same position. Mm. So mm. that's one thing. Somebody working out, you just got to have the mentality. Somebody working out somewhere that's trying to get where I'm getting, playing the same position. Wow. Wow, so so they don't only work out when the team is having to work out. <laughs> no, man, you got these kids staying out there now, man. You got these kids with these mentality, man. How can I get that extra work? Can, man, I had kids call me after a game. Can, hey, man, I need to come to the gym. Can I work out? You know what I mean? Like, hmm. it's insane these days, man, how these kids come out. Man, these kids like college kids coming out of high school. Hmm. Mm. They they put in that work, man. They know they know the challenges, man. They they go to these schools, see these visit, man. Like I got to compete against him. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, so it, it, it's a different era now, man. Like I just tell the kids, man, put that how much you want it, put it into getting better each and every day. Yeah, yeah. Even the parts, because I mean. Most of the time, like you said, I, I don't know what it was that triggered and triggered in our mind that we at UC. So we doing the workouts when they tell us we got to work out all that extra work. I'm not doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you said, off season, the only time we go into the weight room is when it's scheduled. For us yes, to exactly. Not, no extra I'm in time. Yeah, I'm in time. We skipped out on that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. It's, <laughs> and I, so, at one time, dude, I, I I fell in love with working out, man. I was tiny, then I got big. I'm like, yeah, I like this side. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I love college, man. My senior year, I was like 215, 219, man, mm -hmm. at a receiver. Mm -hmm. At receiver. Four, four, four 4.5 body percent, uh, fat by um, uh, fat percent. You know what I mean? Yeah. Five percent body fat. 4.5. Mm -hmm. Like I was chiseled when I left college. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's just putting that time in. But hey, and and, and the device I get that, that's the working out part. But that at, at first, you know, you're a student athlete, not an athlete student. Get them books, man. Yeah. Get it, get it early. Everybody wanna chase them books at the end. And all the athletes I start, I talk to, oh man, I need to catch up. I only got a two point. No, man, you wanna you wanna get a great start for you ain't gotta be worried about it at the end. Nice. So and so you have to go, you got to go and at the end, instead of working out, honing your craft to get to the next level, you got to go to study all, trying to get that summer school. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You don't want to have to do that. Mm -hmm. so, all right. All most right. important. So, yeah, man, that's that, that's a dope piece of advice, man. Well, man, thanks for giving me your time, G, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, man. Anytime, anytime. Yeah, yeah. We'll we, we do it again, man. Once we, we get some more you know, talk in and, and uh, probably I want to do like a group chat with a whole bunch of people on there and just talk. Oh, and talk man. And talk. Hey, <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't getting exposed a couple of people, but hey, we did. We got the job done. Yeah. You yeah. No, you ain't got to expose. Hey, we, hey we, I we, just, we I, I just like to uh, give a shout out to uh, Charles Spencer, man. That, that guy got on uh, stay on me and we, we, we steady, we steadfast friends. We, we, we keep in communication. But that kid taught me a lot in high school and, and, and how to organize and everything. You know how, how much of organized you is. Yourself, man, G Ruff, you know what I mean? All the all the kids that helped me, you know, get the way I'm at and you know, everybody that supported me at that time to give me that 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 boost to do what I do. You know what I mean? Maybe it ain't come at the end, it ain't get to the end where I needed to go at a successful NFL football player, but I'm very successful, man. And yeah. and that's and that's just the the wear and tear and the, and the grind that you put in to to strengthen your mind yeah. to you know to a, to absorb all that the downfalls to get to the end mm, road. The pinnacle, so. man. But 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 uh, how was so after college? Tell tell what was your experience after college? So what? What, what happened once you, you finished playing football in college? Where did you uh, go from there? Oh, uh, man, I went and played CFL. I played a year and a half that, um, in, in the NFL. I played arena, went back to CFL. 
You know what I mean? I had an opportunity to go back to CFL in 07, man. After my workout, man, I was hurting for two weeks. Two weeks, man. I told my agent, man, I'm done. Mm. I can't do it. And then uh, and then a lot of people don't know. I had a child, man. I, you know what I mean? I lost five years of my kid's life chasing that dream. Something that you can never get back. Until yeah. you get in that position, you'll never understand if you want to be a good father. You know what I mean? Mm. So, you know what I mean? And, and, and that relationship was, you know, you can never build that relationship back. You can try. You can do the best you can. But the first five years are very important years of your child's life. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So, you know, it, it's good chasing the dream, chasing the money, man. I like being a father, man. I got a little five-year-old now that's running around here. You know what I mean? It's the best thing in the world, man, to, to raise that kid from a day-old baby to the way he at now, man. It's the, mm. You know what I mean? You can never get that back, man. But, you know, after that, you know what I mean? The struggles of life, man. You know what I mean? I, I didn't, I didn't, been at my lowest pit, man, like, what I'm going to do now. And then I didn't have a lot of money. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm successful now. Number one, uh, final expense agent in um, Georgia for my company. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm very blessed to, you know, have the opportunity uh, from starting when I first moved here, believe it or not, man, I worked at Ballas and Walmart. You know what I mean? So, mm. you know what I mean? That's the only job that would hire me, man. It was hard yeah. to find a job around here. Man, yeah. try to be, try to have a degree and try to go in front of these people that don't got degrees. They ain't gonna hire you because they, they think you after your job. They think you after their job. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It, it, it was a very humbling experience now, you know what I mean, on that way. And then I had a successful gym for six years. Successful gym for six years, man. Only reason I got out of the gym, the gym uh, training was I got tired of running behind parents. And then also, Man, I work for I, I work for insurance half the time making us more money. So <laughs> you know what I mean? I let I me mean, jump in insurance, man. Like, man, hey, that's the best decision I ever made, man. I, you know, I'm able, home, able to take care of home and do what I want to do. Travel yeah. how I want to travel, man. Man, so so what helped you now when you was done, man, and you took this a whole nother way, man. I give me a couple more minutes. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah. So so you said you was in the phone, you know what I mean, when you was done playing when you was done playing what that looked like man what was what do you think was the cause of the funk was it the lack of like i don't know what to do i don't have no idea what to do yeah man it's like man like you had no you had no job experience <laughs> you 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 don't got no uh, you know i mean you can't show these people work experience. oh i played ball that's all you you can put on your um resume so, you know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. it, it, it was difficult, man. Like, it was difficult finding a job. And when we moved to Georgia, like, four months before I moved to Georgia, I got a job at uh, Florida Correction. And, like, it was a pretty good gig. I, I, I love the gig. But we already was in the process of moving to Georgia. My wife already had, we planning on moving two months later to move to uh, Georgia because my wife moved in front of me. And... I'm like at that job next two months. I got to make a decision when I'm going to leave because we mm. still had a house there, but we're moving here. I'm moving here to play arena football. And and that that's the uh, shutdown year. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know what I mean? Like, um, it was... It was a it was trial and tri- uh, tribulation, man. I just tell people, man, to be prepared, man, when... You come out. Good thing that I had a wife that was able to, you know, withhold that blow because the the lifestyle we live. You know what I mean? Um, if it wasn't from her, man, I'd probably been on the streets, uh, living with in, in, in my parents' house or somewhere. <laughs> but we all, you know, I mean, we all made a way. I ain't gonna say I always been, you know, had it or or successful, man. But you know, you live a lifestyle. You don't want to go backwards. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it, it, we had to go backwards, man. You, I'm, I'm pretty, you, you've been through it, man. You know what I mean? But it's all about grasping that 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 downfall and making it better in the future. We 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 know what we did wrong then, and we got to do it better now. But most people don't get it, man. You know what I mean? Everybody asks me why about this, why about that. I, I live, man, one life. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, and. If I make it, I'm going to buy it. So, you know what I mean? Everybody always say, build, build, build. You know what I mean? You build, build, build. But if I die tomorrow, what I'm building for? That's why you got life insurance. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? So hey, that my take, man. I just say live one life, have fun, man. Because you're gonna have your downfall, but you know, don't 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 go bind and, and get yourself in a bind like you know, I mean I have, you know what I mean? So you know, so you know what I mean, just I just wish it was better things that you can put on your resume after playing ball than just play football. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because that's no work experience. That's why 85% of the NFL player come out, you know, don't know what to do because Mm -hmm. they broke. 85% of NFL players come out the league broke. Proven stack. Proven uh, statistics. Yes. Yeah, man. So, you know what I mean? It it, it has to be, you know, and and that's in any sport, man. We overspend, man. You're getting you getting twenty thousand dollars now we get man <laughs> what are you doing dude don't throw that at boy you getting twenty twenty uh you getting uh twenty 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 five thousand dollars a week man what you gonna do with that yeah you know what you mean? come out I man come see hey hey the rough come out <laughs> this is my little one he just threw a bean bag at me <laughs> what's up little L B how you doing, yeah, son? Say hey, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going shop. Don't throw it at me. But, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah, man, just I, I just it got to be better organized, you know what I mean? Better, you know. Transition. Yeah, better transition. Life after the football. Yeah, life, life after the football is you know what I mean, it is it's tough, yeah. you know what I mean? Like like say for instance. Yeah. When we was in college, we didn't worry about no bills. No, no. So we were getting all, you know what I mean? We 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 knew we were getting that money. By the time that money came, we were broke. And then we were getting that money again, then we broke. Then we got a couple credit cards and run them up, broke. You know what I mean? Like, man, they, they didn't stop that credit card thing on people coming on the on campus now with the credit cards. Oh, they did? But back then, boy, you get them credit cards by hand. I remember, uh, I had about four or five credit cards. <laughs> and and um what, what, what we day, you know, in Columbus when they used to go I had a block party. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. went shopping up, buying all kind of outfits. Uh what we had uh flower, you know the flower shirt, the Hawaii shirt, like Hawaii shirts and everything, some some jeans. Looking fly, looking fly. Yeah. Little max credit card. And ran that thing up in one shopping street. <laughs> no, I ain't paying it back. Probably paid two payments. <laughs> Came out of college. Credit bad as I don't know what. But yeah, uh, man. That was the life, man. Man, that's dope, man. You took you took it on a whole another turn where with the transition from from foot the life after football because what we don't realize is that we're gonna be regular civilians longer than we're gonna be football players. Exactly. And and then we gotta turn down our lifestyle, man. Like Man, I don't even want a boy. I, 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 I haven't turned down my lifestyle, man. These six thousand dollar bills a month plus ain't ain't ain't, ain't, ain't gonna kick it. Keep kicking yeah. it. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? You got to understand that. Good thing that I have found work to establish and still maintain that monthly bill. You know what I mean? Of what I do, you know, I mean, I got expensive wife too, so I, you know, I'm gonna blame some of it on her. And, and she want to go out of out of out of on the country four five times. But that man, it's just a, a transition, man. About you know, when you know it's ending or near end, start transitioning. You know what I mean? Like if I had known better, man, when I had it, man, like um, I would I would I would have paid for things in full. You know what I mean? Like. Just pay for it, you know what I mean? My wife yeah. used to, you know what I mean? You don't really come in. I was, my wife was making more than me, you know what yeah. I mean? So, you know what I mean? My wife has slowed down since we had, you know, this little one. And I do all the work now, so, you know, but we, we trying to, you know, just, we, we cutting down some things to uh, better transition. I'm still transitioning, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Well, we- uh, because I mean, a lot of times, man, it, it takes some time to uh-huh. to really. All right, I got my foot and step set in this civilian world now, and I, I'm figuring out how to navigate within it because it's a difference, man. I remember working with people. I used to be like, 
that's not the way you work as a team. And it's just it just used to yeah. baffle me some of the things that used to happen in the work life in, in corporate America. You know what right. I mean? From what I was used to, like, no, nah, man, I where I'm liking that, you supposed to pick up. It don't supposed to be where I'm liking that, you go tell on me. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? So so it's the big uh difference as far as teamwork and not pe- people not having that teamwork uh skill set that we develop our whole life. Right, man. It's, it's always um, teamwork, man. A lot of people, yeah. a lot of people don't, you know, grasp that point. But a lot of people don't play. The people that we work with ain't, ain't play sports. Yeah. So you got to, you know, if they did, they played tennis. It's a solo sport. So <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You know, especially in the corporate world we work. You know what I mean? A lot of people, what we work. How many athletes that you work with, man? There's not many. Not exactly. Like two, you know what I mean? Two or three. Yeah, they probably didn't play, and and the two or three probably played tennis, right? <laughs> Yes and nay. No, no, no. They played high school football. They played no, high, high school, school football. football. But you know what I mean? Like when you get up in there, most of them play tennis or sink golf or something like that, yeah. man. Some that individual team stuff. Yeah, it's individual, man. They don't know how to work as a team. You know what I mean? Yeah. They think they're supposed to take it on everything. Man, when you're working as a team, just like a relationship, man, it makes everything a little bit easier if everybody on the same accord. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? You just got to learn how to work together to uh, get to the end end result. You know, it will get done faster if y'all are more organized. You know what I mean? So that's how you got to take it. Yeah. But a lot of people yeah. don't take it like that. We playing, like I say, we playing with golfers and tennis players. <laughs> but yeah, man. So, so, man, another thing that he dropped, if y'all didn't catch it, man, it is a life after football that you need to get ready for. So yes. That, and that's the whole purpose of this is to give you some insight on this guy played, uh, had a whole stint in the, I mean, around different leagues, CFL, NFL, Europe, NFL, and he living a life after all that. So it right. definitely not, not too many people get to play football for 30, uh, 10, 15 years. And if that, like Kobe Bryant, he played for an extended period of time. Now he got a life. He's, he's done at 30, 38, 39. What'd he do? Stop living. Cause he's Kobe Bryant. No, he got to transition to a regular life. So, man, thanks for taking it there because that's definitely, you know, some information that I want out there so these yes. young dudes uh, know that it's life after football that you need to start preparing for or life after sports that you need to prepare for, not only sports. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, man, well, thanks for the extended version, man. Thank you for your time, man. I know you got to get to taking care of some of that business. <laughs> Yes, sir. Little, little bear about to throw something else at you. I know, <laughs> man. Hey, 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 he ready to go. He, he ready to go. go. Yeah. Well, man, I, yeah. man, again, I really appreciate you giving me your time, G. Yeah, anytime, man. We'll do it again. All right, bet. Peace. All right, peace.